everyone how are you today happy easter holiday thank you for all you wonderful people who have subscribed and like my video i appreciate it a lot okay today we're going to be talking about apostrophe of possession all right my note here some singular noun ends in an s sound some singular noun ends with an s sound we may add an apostrophe s if the word does not have too many s sounds okay we may add an apostrophe s if the word does not have too many s sounds example james jones instead of removing the s from jones or adding an s to jones you'll put an apostrophe behind the s the same thing with jones so once it it the, that word or name ends with an s sound you had you do not remove it but you had the apostrophe s okay if there are too many s sounds we may omit the apostrophe s for ease of pronunciation if there are too many s sounds we may omit the apostrophe s for ease of pronunciation example moses is moses is journey so it is showing ownership so that is the journey moses took so instead of adding an s you put an apostrophe mark at the end of his name okay because you want you could not say moses is is okay you say moses is journey m-o-s-e-s -E that's moses is. just like james you put the, with james when you showed ownership you put the s behind you put the apostrophe mark behind the s okay sorry about that you put the apostrophe mark behind the s but in to have it to flow smoothly in a pronunciation you would say you would use the apostrophe at the outside so you couldn't say moses is his journey you say moses journey so you show ownership in that case the possessive pronouns these pro possessive pronouns is ours hers yours theirs mine its is ours hers yours theirs mine and its do not take on an apostrophe these word these words do not take on an apostrophe okay these are pros possessive that means they belong to you pronouns okay or to us you or us apostrophe of omission that is taken away that is when a letter is taken away from a from a word from a specific word apostrophe of omission this tells us that a letter or letters are missing this tells us that letters are missing example let's which is saying let us you will have us so let us but instead you have s what the same thing what is you'll add an apostrophe and add an s to that can't cannot you take out the not add a t and add an apostrophe mark wouldn't which means would not you had the n put an apostrophe mark and then you had the t so that is saying wouldn't however these are used more in informal writing so you wouldn't put these in business letters or something official you these are done in informal writing like postcards in your notes or you know you're jotting down your notes for exam or in a business meeting or in your diaries if you're writing a diary you'll use this type of writing okay so these are used in informal writing but not in formal writing not in business letters or exams for your school or something like that so they are used in informal writing i hope you have enjoyed this class thank you for watching thank you for subscribing please continue to subscribe like and share Thank you again. Have a good day. Bye.